Hello everyone, my name is Nathie Vader. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and welcomed in a brand new year, 2021. So, without further ado, let's start this new year with a new challenge. And today I have this. It is a Jurassic Park 3 Eric Kirby and Pteranodon figure. Now there is a slight problem with this and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, I picked this up online for a cheap price and that is going to become quite apparent quite soon and that's because this figure is in two parts um, the figure itself I don't think has ever actually been removed from its internal packaging so I'm not going to really try and mess with that too much but while it is out of its uh, outer clamshell let's just have a quick look at it um, it's a fairly basic figure uh, there's only some minor uh, articulation at the arms there. Not too bad detail. It actually does look like Eric from the film. Um, some shorts, some nice uh, detail of the sneakers. Uh, he's got a torch, flashlight on the one hand, and open on the other side. The Tyrannodon itself, no articulation on the mouth. A uh, single point of articulation on the neck joint, uh, nothing on the feet, and then two points of articulation there, uh, one on each wing. And the JP3 logo there, just on the back. On the back side, can't really make out much to be honest. There's not a lot there. There's a bit of brown shading and um, some black accents going across the wings. And you can just make out Eric Kirby's backpack. But what we're trying to do today is reattach this to here. Uh, I've done something like this before, and it involved using Mod Podge, uh, which a lot of uh, people use for uh, doing arts and crafts and stuff like that. But uh, I found this stuff often dries uh, a nice color that blends in a lot of the time with the uh, factory glue that they used on here and because these separation points aren't too bad they have a lot of the original artwork there still there so it's just gonna be a case of trying to realign this as best I can to um, reattach it and I think it might be just about possible uh, it's never gonna be perfect but um, We'll give it a go. <laughs> so first, let's find the Mod Podge. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try and line this up, see where it uh, sits best first, because this plastic would have been warped. So it might have been square when it was first created, but over time, um, things start to shrink. And unfortunately, when this let go from its card back, um, it wasn't in the square shape so one side or two may line up but the other two sides might be out so even though it's sitting square here right now if I was to look at it to line up the um, uh, paint that is left from the card back it's not square so I'll have to choose two sides to do first and then carefully uh, use the Mod Podge on the other two sides once those have set so the first two sides I think I'm going to attack are the bottom and this side here. Now they aren't great because the card has um, flexed over the years so there has been some creasing and because of its age it, it has uh, flaked off since this has separated from the um, clamshell. So it's not going to be perfect, it never will be, but I'm just trying to see. I can get it to line up. That's not too bad there. I'm also using the Hasbro logo there. I can uh, bring it up. Just about see it there. I'm going to try and use that to uh, line up where it should be. So as long as that Hasbro logo looks good and some of these lines here match up to what I've got in the clamshell to the card back then we should be in business. So what I'm going to do now 
get a bit of uh, modge podge you only need a tiny little bit so I'm just gonna use whatever is um, sitting in the top of the cap I have to give it a good shake and I'm gonna apply the smallest amount to the clamshell itself so I'm just gonna add a couple of dabs on there not too crazy just going to run it along on the card that's still attached to the um, clamshell. This stuff does go off fairly quickly um, and it will seep into the cardboard a little bit but not too much that it will have strong lasting effects like um, decolouring but uh, on the areas that we're applying it to it doesn't really matter too much because you won't really see it hopefully when it's done just make sure that's all covered and, uh, run it along the bottom and this stuff does dry uh, transparent as well so any sort of areas where it uh, has bled onto um, like the plastic clear um, you shouldn't really see it that's about it there so I'm going to put the brush to the side and the Mod Podge flip her over for now and carefully offer this up you have got a bit of play time to attach this so you haven't got to worry too much if you don't get it first time I'm just going to offer that up Oops, that's not pretty that's not too bad like I say there is some cracking at the top there but that's just from the card that's broken up over time from storage uh, which can't be helped fortunately and what I'm going to do to hold the card back to the clamshell is just some paper clips really um, and some bulldog clips so I might just use a bulldog clip there for that um, section and these will really bite down onto that to hold it in place at least I can work on this bottom end now without having to worry about that moving too much I'm just going to move that to where I want it which is about there I think just again just get some happy clamp that down and then use a large paper clip just to push that down there. And then run those around just to hold everything else down. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let that cure for an hour or so, uh, depending on where you've got it stored. If it's a bit warm, it shouldn't take that long, but this Mod Podge does go off quite quickly. So we'll come back an hour and then we'll tackle the next two pieces. Right, so let's take these pegs off. It's been about uh, just over an hour now. Let's see if the Glue has done the trick. Yep, it's pretty, pretty on there. So now I'm gonna run the glue around here. There should be enough room for me to just lift it up enough. You see that there? Just enough for me to run the glue onto the clamshell side. And I might have to 
hold this in place while it starts to go because there is a bit of flex in the clamshell if I show you. See there. If I push up and then down, it does close the gap up. So I might have to keep holding on to that, but we'll see how it goes. Right, well, I've got the glue in the top section, so I'm just going to keep moving this around a little bit. I've got it clipped here just to keep that corner in place, but I'm just going to keep uh, making sure that this is properly fitted down because uh, it's not the easiest compared to the bottom and this side where I could get a clip. There's nowhere I can really put any pressure on here, but keep this clamshell forward enough to take up all the edges that um, you can see where it had torn away originally. So I'm just going to keep moving this around until it goes off and generally it goes off quite quickly this Mod Podge depending on temperature um, so we'll get this set in place and I'll move on to that side okay I've uh, glued and clipped the final side down it does look a bit excessive but this uh, clamshell is extremely warped on that one side so it was a bit of a struggle to uh, get it to stay down that's why I didn't bother filming it for you guys because it would have been painful but uh, I'll let this go off and we'll come back and see what the results are like in an hour or so right well it's been a another hour so let's take off the clips and see how we've done this one yeah there you go and it is on there. Yeah, that's really, yeah, that's pretty good. That is um, all right. I mean, uh, take a look up close. You see that joint line there? Around there. And just generally, it's, it's very worn, this card back. And I say it has been off the clamshell. Uh, for a couple of years by the looks of things and there is a lot of wear generally on the card back so unfortunately it's never going to be a perfect realignment but it is better than nothing and I can now display this on the shelf um, I do have another one here uh, and uh, it's, um, it's okay but again if you look at the bottom there is a lot of distortion on the clamshells plastic and um, it is quite hard to line these things up once they've separated from the card back. This one is in a lot better condition, mind you. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to look good on the shelf, I think. It'll blend in. Um, not too bad. Just need to find the other ones now. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, a good idea if you're uh, stuck for trying to make these things look more presentable. And uh, it definitely beats using sellotape or... Uh, any kind of harsh glue. Mod Podge is quite uh, a nice adhesive to use and it gives you some time to uh, get everything in place where you need it. And uh, while we're on the subject of reattaching card back figures, I uh, recently was tidying my room and noticed uh, one of uh, the Legacy Collection figures had an issue. These have been sitting on the shelf ever since I bought them. I haven't played with them or anything apart from display them and uh, I've just noticed that this is actually separating uh, from the card back and I have never never messed with this figure this is just as it came it was absolutely fine when I got it um, this is two years old I think now and uh, it's just had shelf wear not it been exposed to the sunlight or anything in perfect conditions and uh, yeah, it just goes to show it doesn't matter how well you look after these things, sometimes they just like to separate. So that'll be another one I have to deal with. But uh, that's for another time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Maybe consider subscribing, giving it a little like on the side. Uh, my name's Nathan Vader. I post on Instagram and Twitter almost daily, so be sure to check out my channels to see what I've found and what I'm posting. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.